report in the Tribune paper today said their reporter managed to get access to Aadhaar details just by paying 500 rupees. The Aadhaar authorities have said, well, there's no compromise on security, but have launched an investigation for more. Let's go across to Amitoj. Amitoj, it seems contradictory in a sense, because on the one hand, they're saying, yes, there was a misuse, but there's been no compromise on security. Explain this to us. Well, I, I wish I could. Uh, I can't really. The statement makes it clear from the Aadhaar uh, Unique Identification Authority of India. Uh, they've said at the, uh, at the start uh, very clearly that nothing has happened. There's been no breach of data, either personal or to do with biometrics, face, iris, or your fingerprint. Uh, mm -hmm. They've made that very clear. And then in the second para in their statement, they go on to say that uh, we have though filed an FIR. So that's a bit uh, contradictory. And I did speak to the reporter in question who actually published this report on Tribune. Uh, it's fascinating the story that she told me, you know. Uh, it started all at 10 o'clock in the morning and by 3 p.m. she had filed the report because that's how fast this can happen. And that's exactly what she reflected in her headline. Mm -hmm. 500 rupees, 10 minutes, and you have a billion Aadhaar details available to you. Of course, she said we couldn't count a billion, but that was the idea that she, they could actually access anyone's details. So much so they, that they even called the authority, uh, the, the person who was in charge of the Aadhaar card, the unique identification authority of India in that area, and actually asked, uh, can you give us your Aadhaar card details and we'll actually find your details? Uh, that's the big question. However, when I asked one question to the reporter, she refused to comment. And that question was specifically about whether you were able to access biometrics. And that's important because can, uh, can you actually get uh, access to my fingerprints, my iris, my photo, all of that? Well, she didn't give us a comment. She said, that's part of our further investigation and we'll have more on that a little later. So that is something that needs to be talked about right now. Uh, based on this particular group, that is an anonymous group, which uh, she was able to uh, get through through her source, uh, you can actually get access uh, like personal details, address, and mobile phone number. That's all, uh, and, and and that's a, a, a very big concern because now there's an FIR lodged. Right, of course. Sir. So they're saying no fingerprints, no iris details, but name, address, etc., all available. So a scary thought there. Let's just see how that story unfolds. Thanks, Amitoj.